says he rose up and he shaved his head and he ripped his clothes and he fell to the ground. Now, you know, in an awful lot of Christian circles, there's a lot of Christians who believe that the, that the faithful way to face suffering is your, you know, your, your eyes well up a little bit in tears and then you smile through the tears, you know, and you say, oh, it's hard, but I'm trusting the Lord and I know he's just going to work it out and I'm just praising him's name. And you think that's the way you're supposed to do it. But if you had a friend who's a Christian and when they got bad news, if they got up, like Joe, ripped their clothes, tore their hair, fell on the ground and began to cry and scream, what would you say? You would say, hmm, I think she's lost the victory here. <laughs> and yet, what does it say in verse 22? Job did all that, and in all this Job sinned not. There is a kind of stoicism. There is a kind of, uh, there's a kind of stoicism that masquerades as Christian faith. And the fact of the matter is because Job has that right understanding, because Job does not put God in the dock, because Job does not say he's the author of evil or says he's out of control of evil or say that he just dispenses evil to good people, I mean to bad people as opposed to good people, because he understands that, Job has this amazing ability to cry out. He grieves. He's not a stoic. 